Good evening. We interrupt our regular programming to return to Southwest Medical Center and continuing coverage of the outbreak of a mystery sickness. Earlier today, hospital officials said they were admitting patients with symptoms that seemed to be severe adult chickenpox. But now we have new information. We go to Andy Field outside Southwest Medical Center. Good evening, Andy. What can you tell us? Sheila, we've been moved to an isolated area behind the hospital. And off the record, doctors here suspect that at least five patients hospitalized at Southwest may have smallpox. Now, for those of us who don't remember the disease, it is a deadly virus. We haven't seen it in this country in at least 20 years. Now, if this proves to be true, we could have a very serious health emergency on our hands. But officially, the hospital will not confirm or deny that diagnosis. And the problem is we don't have enough vaccine to go around. Meaning we don't have enough vaccine for the United States? Well, I would like to think that, but we don't have sufficient uh, stockpiles for the people in Oklahoma, Georgia, or Pennsylvania, much less for the entire United States population. Well, that certainly doesn't sound encouraging. What do you mean exactly? Angie, it means it could be a very dark winter for America. Sobering. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Kavlik. We do continue to wait for official reaction to this developing situation. Now we go to a special report on the deadly effects of smallpox. On day six of the smallpox epidemic, the White House confirmed that federal government officials and military personnel are being vaccinated. 300 people have died. At least 2,000 are infected with smallpox. Smallpox symptoms are being seen in 15 states, also in Canada, Mexico, and England. The U.S. smallpox vaccine supply continues to shrink as officials try to stretch limited stocks to cover the entire nation. An official announcement regarding the remaining vaccine inventory is expected later today. Struggles to get vaccinated led to violence in some cities. Profound economic losses are crippling the nation. In Oklahoma alone, economic experts project severe losses in the state's multi-billion dollar agricultural commodities market. Still, no group claims responsibility for unleashing the deadly smallpox virus. But NCN has learned that Iraq may have provided the technology behind the attack to terrorist groups based in Afghanistan. We have a breaking story from Oklahoma. We go straight to Andy Fields of Oklahoma City's KMSA. Andy, are you there? Angie, Texas Governor Rick Parsons has now suspended all surface and air contact between Texas and Oklahoma. He has ordered his state troopers and the National Guard to seal the borders. Now, we're about a mile away from the Texas border here, just near Interstate 35 and the Red River Bridge that connects the two states. The troopers here have taken the media to what they call a so-called safe spot. But as we've told you earlier today, Oklahomans by the carload have been seen leaving the state in every direction trying to escape this deadly smallpox outbreak. Now, we have reports of vigilantes at the Texas border trying to stop people from coming over. I don't know if you just heard that. That it was a shot fired. We've heard, there's another one. Now, we're not sure where these shots are coming from. We're a little too far away from the border to hear this here, but, but there have been shots. This is the second time in the hour we've heard this. The National Guard and the Oklahoma State Troopers are here with us. We're not certain who's doing the firing or if what we're hearing is return firing. There's another shot. It's starting to sound like a war zone. I'm Andy Field reporting. On day 12 of the worst public health crisis in America's history, demonstrations for more vaccine in hard-hit communities disintegrated into riots and looting around the nation. Interstate commerce has stopped in several regions of the nation. A national suspension of trading on America's stock exchanges takes effect tomorrow. International commerce with the U.S. has virtually ceased. The Centers for Disease Control report that efforts to stem the smallpox epidemic have depleted America's inventory of smallpox vaccine. While the CDC may be out of the vaccine, at least 45 Internet websites are now offering what they claim are safe, effective vaccines.
These claims have not, we repeat, they have not been independently verified. Authorities urge caution. At least 25 states and 10 foreign countries are reporting smallpox infections. At the United Nations temporarily meeting in Geneva, China has sponsored a resolution to censure the U.S., blaming America for reintroducing smallpox to the world. It demands the U.S. supply the world with vaccine. Since the diagnosis of 20 smallpox cases in Oklahoma City 12 days ago, hundreds have now died, thousands have become infected. The latest figures show more than 15,000 new cases in the past week. Officials now question whether a single attack could be responsible for this outbreak pattern developing in the U.S. But they project that each two to three week period will see a minimum tenfold increase in new cases.